just prove my point. You don't know about the city. Shreveport, the nigga just said I got one song. Nigga, I go all the way back to Five Entertainment. That's how I know you don't know shit about the city, homie. You just a culture vote nigga that seen some sell and you wanted to come profit. Now go ahead and go get some niggas something since I didn't got on your Go ahead and go try to pound it to some niggas and put some niggas on or do something and help some niggas because you see I'm getting on your mother. Go ahead and try to play chess like that. You ain't going to outsmart me, nigga. I ain't none of these dumb niggas you ever dealt with. Nigga, I got a whole catalog of me and Boosie got a mixtape. Nigga, I've been dropping music in Shreveport since 05. I've been touring in, in Louisiana and all these Texas areas since 05. Dumb ass nigga don't know nothing about our culture. That's why I was going off on this nigga. Because I know this nigga don't give a to do no research about us and our people. Shreveport, man, say, man. Stand up or fall for any more time. You got to stand up for something, man. Your right hand man and me get on the phone. He telling me that he told you, man, book some local artists for. Niggas say, you said they just gonna come. They just gonna be there. So, once again, you ain't think we was good enough for you to spend none of the money with, nigga? What the f***? God, city good enough for you to come do everything you're doing? You couldn't spend no, you couldn't spend no money with none of my young niggas out there, God? That? Don't look like real niggas. Real niggas weigh in. Let me know what you think. You know, you said the community was just gonna come support you. But you ain't feel the need to put the community on this shit. Yeah, this what your right hand man told me. Nigga say you said, oh, they just gonna come. What? A nigga ain't worth the check? Uh, so you just, you looking at what you could gain off a of nigga city-wise. I see what it is. Then you got jokes about it. And I don't know what part of you niggas is just fake real niggas. Like, I guess you niggas just some fake just like the boondocks, like, you can't believe in these fake niggas because you supposed to be a solid nigga. Ask your right-hand man how to f*** the street put. Ask him how to f*** the street put. Matter of fact, listen to it out of somebody else's mouth besides the niggas who the f*** around. Nigga and hear both sides of the story. Ask your right-hand man how he got the street put, nigga. The nigga was homeless, nigga. I took the nigga there and spent $30,000 out of my mother so the nigga had somewhere to stay. My family stayed there. I was good. I put this nigga in a hotel and ran through my nigga. This nigga put us on the road on a boot tour and ran through the rest of my budget. You think this wretch out and say, hey, 50. Hey, nah, nigga. So you got niggas around you, nigga. Ask his right hand man. Cause I moved both of them niggas in with me and, and, and committed to make sure both of them niggas were straight. Just got out the phone with this nigga. Ask self, nigga. Who hell everything the f and who they f for, nigga? Niggas ain't no solid niggas. Supposed to not speak my mind. You got me. F I started this barbecue. I started this b -b 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 barbecue, nigga. <laughs> I'm the one that put this mother f together. Me, that's who. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point and say, that's the bad guy. But take a good look. It's the last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this. Change the name of Shreveport, nigga. We ratchet city to the day we mother. The only people behind you is the mother. Looking at who you put money in their pocket, nigga. The streets riding with hurricane. It been like that. I don't get it. Niggas who ride with me ain't on the internet, though. Don't get it tangled and twisted, nigga. Shreveport, Louisiana, a different type of place. Yeah, the every hood ride with Kane, nigga. I don't know what I'm talking about. You got life bent, nigga. If you ain't book no Louisiana artists, Louisiana legends, who the fuck am there? Oh, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And Sunday is normally a day where you kick back, relax, chill, you know, do your one, two thing. But yesterday, Hurricane Chris decided to come to the internet and get some things off his chest. Now, if you didn't know, 50 Cent had the Human Harmony weekend, not this past weekend, but last weekend out there in his hometown, Shreveport. And he was upset. Felt that 50 did not show enough hometown support. And you seen he was saying that he was vulture and everything in the first video. Well, 50 got some jokes off on him, called them Hurricane Flex, and posted the clip 
of Queen Latifah and Flex from Juice with Q waiting in line for the mixing uh, trial for the show they was going to have out there and everything and said he wasn't feeling it, you get no play in my ride and everything like that. Then he came back and joked on him again with the scene from Men's Society when he had uh, Sharif in the car with Stacy and said, hey, nigga, you know that stuff you're trying to get me don't get no play in my ride and everything like that. Well, then, as you saw Hurricane Chris spoke on it, hey, bro, why you joking on me? Why you playing and everything like that? And I was like, man, here we go once again, bro. Now, this is one of the conversations we go have. And you heard Hurricane Chris right there get into his Hurricane Montana mode and turned all the way up some more. And he's speaking about other things going on behind the scenes with, and I know him and Bebe had a situation and things like that as he went to the caption and said this, at 50 Cent, lack of knowledge is what make you an opportunist. Ask Bebe why he talked me a kid into signing for 30K. Maybe I'd have more number ones if your rat friends didn't play me as a kid. And I got a heavy catalog that they know word for word in my city, but you did no research on our history. You saw a chance to win for yourself. And the way that it's coming off, bro, from how I'm seeing it, and I don't know, I'm just taking an educated guess on the outside looking in. It feels like Hurricane Chris has some issues with Bay Bay, because I did see him on stage. He's from out there. He was on stage with Master P and everything like that. And he's kind of missing the point that he's trying to drive. And he's putting blame on 50 Cent, saying, hey, you're an opportunist because your lack of knowledge. Well, I got to be real with you, Hurricane Chris. He, he would be an opportunist if he really just didn't, if he knew what was going on. And he just said, hey, I want to use y'all and mess over y'all and just capitalize off of y'all and everything. But 50 has invested in land and space in his production company out there, bro. And you said yesterday in the rant that it was cheap land. That's what he's doing. But that's a business move, bro. It's not that he's capitalized saying, I'm going to use Shreveport culture to get on. He don't need Shreveport as the city to come out there and do business. He bought that land out there. This is just, hey, we're going to turn up out here. We're going to help generate some bread. And trust me, 50 Cent is going to get active in that community. He going to come out there and help with the school districts. He going to help out there and do things. He did it out here next time, working with the kids in the HISD school districts. Also was donating money to different things. Then was passing out stuff on uh, Thanksgiving, working with the people on Christmas and everything like that. So he going to be out there tapping in with the city and the locals and stuff. It's going to create jobs out there with that film studio. Nah, Hurricane Chris yesterday said you didn't have no Louisiana artists on the bill or nothing like that. And we see the Alfredo Bay. We also seen he had Master P. We also did see he had uh, other people there coming and participating as well. And it's just been one of them complaints that came a week later. Hurricane Chris, bro, I don't know his direct concern or issue. I feel like maybe he did want to perform and be a part of it because he did have major hits that came out of Shreveport and everything. And he felt like, well, hey, man, if y'all doing something big in the city, hit me up. And, yeah, every everybody want their city to win, bro. Everybody want their city to win. But I just look at it like this, Hurricane Chris, bro. It's the way you coming at it. Now you done kind of burnt that bridge. And when they come back again for the next one, it's going to be like, boys ain't going to want to include you, dog. And you're kind of showing them right now why you wasn't included because it seems like, nigga, you wouldn't have been happy. And even with Lunell complaining about it, it's like, man, I'm trying my best. But it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.